So here we'll show a short video of how to make a really good detailed analysis with XPS Presenter. First, you're going to select the video clip to edit. You see it appeared in the timeline. And then we hit the play button. If you want to turn the sound off, you go to right click. And then here's the options. You can mute it so you don't have any sound. And then you work in silence. Then you hit the play button. And then when you see the action, you're going to analyze. Like here. Hit the drawing button. And then there's a second screen here with all the tools on the upper left corner. Here I'm going to set a screen. You can set the color, the line type, if it has trays on it, the line width, how is it ends at an arrow with a line, and how thick the line will be or will be transparent. And of course you can make some presets. I have made here the necessary for basketball, dribble, screen, pass, cut and defensive slide or close out with red. Here we're going to set the screen step up screen and the ball handler is going to dribble the ball towards this direction you can adjust the parabola here if it's a curve and the length it's easy it's really drag and drop you can see the white points on the start and the end of the arrow and the middle point with the red dot it's easy now here on the right, you can control the time and of duration of every arrow. Let's say that I want to show that the screen is first. And here on the second line, you can adjust how much time you're going to adjust for this to animate. And after the screen is set, here is the dribble. You can adjust this too. And you can adjust the whole duration of all animation of graphics. Let's say I want to be just like 4 seconds. You hit play and you have a preview. Here's the screen and here's the dribble. You hit save, get to the presenter again and then hitting play you can preview it. And you go to the second action. If you want to correct something because I thought it would be a dribble, but it wasn't, it was a pass. You can just select the arrow, the graphic, you can press delete, or hitting the right click on your mouse, you can just delete it. So here it's pop out, so I check here for the arrows, it's a light blue arrow, here's a pop out, I'm making the curve for the big guy. And this is after the screen, of course. And there's a pass. From the ball handler. With the dotted arrow. To the pop-out. And this is really nice to have on the upper right hand. The timelines. In order to have a chronological order. The screen, the pop and then the pass. So you can drag and drop this. You can select, of course, if it's animated in or out. Default is animated in or deleted. And you have a preview here. Screen, pop out, pass, save and close. Preview it on the video. And you go to the next action. Here, the next action is drawing again. It's a down screen from this player. So we have a screen, you can set the duration. You can see the big guy dribbling the ball towards the screen. So we can do this here. That's a dribble. And you can set that to be after the screen. And the cutter. Again with a curve, the color is light blue. 
who is running towards the dribble handoff. I hit play to see a preview, screen, dribble handoff, save and close, hit play to preview it, and you get to the action of the clip, to the timing, to the handoff. If you want to put a name, you can do that. You can hit the text button, so you can choose from five different um, uh, types of letters. Then you have the borders, the text, you're going to fill the box, uh, the size, you're going to have it centered on the left end or right end, bold, italic, transparent, show a pointer to some player or an action. I want to tag this like that, drag and drop to the text, and write zoom action to describe the action. Down screen to a dribble handoff, it's called zoom action. I'm going to put it there on the upper right corner and I'm leave it from the beginning. Hit play, you can see zoom action and you see the arrows. And after that, Next action is the big guy cutting to the basket. And this forces the last defender. I'm gonna spotlight him. This is a spotlight effect. Plug and drop here. You can adjust if you want the bottom to be spotlighted too. You can adjust the color, like yellow, brighter. You can adjust the width the height and the length. So we highlight him, first is the cut, then we highlight the last player who is going to help on the big man diving inside the paint. So this leaves this guy, got this guy here in the weak side corner and he he's forced to leave his man open in the far side corner. I'm going to spotlight him too, with a different color. Let's say with light green, so it's different. After that too, to a chronological order, and then after we spotlighted uh, the last man helping, and his man alone in the weak side corner, I'm going to make the pass, because the ball handler is going to make a skip pass to the weak side corner here to the open teammate and this is after the spotlights so do this let's make it a bit longer there's the dive he's the last guy he's leaving his mouth open if you want to have a better perspective a bit slower you can adjust this to be a bit later so you can see the difference and you make the effects really easy to, to view it with uh, only one view, not rewatch and pause and go back. That's the beauty of this tool. So we have made the proper effects, the animations. We can again put the text box here and say last man is forced to commit. upper right hand corner two here I hit play to see a preview see time difference hit save and close hit play to see the preview on the clip see the action and last the defense is trying to make an X out that's a rotation of the two guards in the weak side. He's gonna cover for his teammate, but he's late, he's a little too far away because this guy has been lifted uh, higher than the wing position to the slot. So this is really big distance to cover, but we're gonna try to see how it would work. Okay, we're gonna see now we want a red arrow. 
not the yellow, not the yellow, not the, not the light blue one, because it's a defensive movement. Red arrow for him, try to cover. And this guy here tries, this is called an X out, or X switch. But they are late to do that. Make the graphic to show it. And I'm gonna make another box, text box. X out is late. Review it again and we saved it. I'll be read on the video again. And then the reaction you can say they were late. Okay. You have obviously uh, noticed that it weren't muted because after you made the drawing, then it's cut the clip in half. So you have to put mute in all of the clips. Uh, actions so now it's muted and you can see the whole video previewed I see the action rolling now the animations chronological order step up pick pop out pass zoom action big man dives to the paint last man is forced to commit and the ball handler makes a skip pass and weak side tried to X out but they're late leaving an open three point corner so our edit is ready we're gonna export it you have to choose the right folder you're exporting of course there's settings you can export it, you can choose it before you uh, edit the video and export it and we can go to desktop video in mp4 format so with only one view you can understand the details of the sequence of the set play and the reads that uh, the offensive team made to find an open shot.